some people you should meet. Some are working, some are playing. Some are pretty, some are plain. Some are winter, spring, or fall. You will get to know. Bravo, bravissimo, what a take. Was that okay? It was more than okay, it was great. Oh, great. Thanks, Mr. Lorimar. I love the track. No, thanks, Denny. And Denny. thank you, Babs. You know, I'd actually forgotten, Babs, just how good your old vocal chops were. Huh. Hey. It's a donut the sweet oh. spot. Wow, Mr. Lorimer, this is like a spaceship or something. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Sit what down. does this do? Yeah, don't touch. Oh, uh, don't I'm touch, sorry. Babs. Sit down at the uh, sweet spot. Okay. Um, oh, you so like cool. it? Oh, it's, it's great in here. I mean, I've heard the legend, obviously. No, but... I mean the track, please. Oh, God, sorry, Mr. Lorimer. I just uh, can't keep up with you. It's incredible. I mean... It's great. It's really catchy. It's yeah. really instant. Uh, I think the voice has real sort of presence. In fact, Jackson and I, you know, we do a bit of songwriting as well. Mm, yeah. I've written this particular track. I, I think it'd really suit your vocal, but um, oh, it's a duet sort of number. Okay. Um, yellow. Oh, hello. Uh, can I speak to Denny Lorimer or Jackson Gold, please? Yeah, this is uh, Mr. Lorimer. Oh, I was just wondering whether the studio was for hire. Uh, well, it's mainly a private facility, but we do consider rental to, to those and such as those. OK, cos um, I'm quite interested in all the old valve gear you got down there. Oh, uh, well, who, well, who are you? My name's Sem DJ Semtex, the turntable terrorist. You might have heard of me. I'm down here with the boys from Space, you know, we've got to do some remix projects and um, we're looking for somewhere to do it, you know, so... Well, hang on a minute. Um, there's possibly... Well, there's a little window tonight, actually, if, if you could be down here at 8 o'clock. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll ring them and um, see how they're fixed, and I'll get back to you. OK. All right, well, um, fish and tiger, see you later. All right, I'll, I'll see you in the charts later. Potentially very interesting uh, clients there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, where the fuck's Jackson? Tax disc, even. It's tax exempt. It's what a classic are you car. Like, son? It's a classic car. It's a classic piece. Yeah, right. Classic. Like yeah. your hair, mate. Oi, you don't use my like hair. You're... Fucking Richard, man. Leave it. Classic hair? Yeah, yeah. I'll give him fucking classic hair, mate. Oh, fuck it out. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking space. Fucking, what does he want to do? He wants to take over the fucking yard. Jackson. Just, well, nothing really. Just, uh, oh, Richard again. Just hey, listen, up. cheer up. Fucking great news, Jackson. Yeah? I'm not even going to chastise you for being late. Something great's happened. You know that little kid from space? Female of the species. Yeah, 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 And yeah, also yeah, yeah. some guy called Semtex. I, I, I can't be sure, but I think they might want the old Lorimer and Whoa. Gold uh, magic. No, if that's Semtex, let me let me let me think. Issue eighty one of Mix Mag, DJ Semtex on the cover. Oh. The guy really is a big guy, you know, he's mm. he's travelled the whole scene, he's done mm. Metalheads, Ministry of Sound. I'm not interested with all due respect in that, Jackson. Well no, I I'm interested in playing Tommy, my classic song Lasagna, remember that one? What's that gotta do with kind of the trip up of Semtex and the kind of 
the poppiness of space. What's that got to do with that? The guy's done duets before, but perhaps this is a perfect follow-up. I don't know. It's a great song. You the think... guy is into classic songwriters, from what I've read. Uh -huh. And I think he'll appreciate it. All right, I've just just had a bad, bad experience in no, the yard. No, come on, Jackson. All right, okay, it's I'll, good. I'm trying to get into it's it. It's looking up. Babs, how are you? It's looking great again. It's I don't want to come across as some callous guy, but um, the sort of motivation for this is I want you to sing your fucking heart out. It's amazing how you've captured the whole kind of sad meal for one kind of loneliness. I, I think it's a strong sort of song that yeah. anyone could cover. Time was, uh, I'm probably old enough to be your father, <laughs> but believe it or not, the time was when lasagna was considered exotic, you know, yeah. Italian food. Yeah, no, of course, um, it's fine. But now it's, it's, <clears throat> it's universal, I think. Yeah. Every culture enjoys tally grub. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Italian food. Yeah. They're actually still making it. That's got some. It, it's exactly. It's it's mm. it's definitely homemade lasagna rather than, as you say, yeah, the exactly. TV TV dinner. Which is right. a bit more kind of TLC in there, isn't yeah, it? When you yeah. when you actually gone to the trouble and made it and. Ex but I mean, yeah. let's do it. I mean, yeah, you know. Absolutely. Anyway, the song is it, isn't it? I mean. The song is king. Yeah. The song is king. We'll just. <sighs> the, the song is king. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Camera, lights, action. Timmy, let's run the tape. I'm rolling. You guys are rocking love. Right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Timmy's been here uh, two it's weeks right. now. It's, it's, it's just the fucking reverb return, Jackson. All right, or okay. Timmy, or whoever the fuck's responsible. Timmy, let's just be calm about this. Come on. Don't get vexed about this. You've got to sing the song, guys. Sorry, I'm having, uh, I'm having no, everyone. I'm, I'm fine. Right. This is fucking deadly serious. You're trying to make a fucking record here, Timmy. Behave. Yeah, I mean, it's not drum and bass or hip-hop or big beat. Big bollocks, I say. <laughs> One up to Jackson. Yeah. Well said, Jackson. Yeah. Bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> the old oscillator trick. We have a lot of fun Jackson in this studio, God. Babs. A lot of fun. All right, are you ready to, are you ready to do this? Yes. That's Jackson Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think this is going to be the one. Right, Timmy? Mm, right. Good luck, guys. Right. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. I'm rolling, you rock. Smooth now, smooth. You know, I kind of missed you, huh? I kind of felt the same. But so wasn't too much fun. Let's end this foolish game. Well, we never really quite saw eye to eye. Beautiful, Danny, beautiful. You've been practicing. But maybe we could give this just one. No, I never ever make lasagna. No, I never ever make lasagna just for one. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey, honey, what's cooking? Lasagna, of course, baby. For one. No, baby, for two. I made it just the way you like it. Still make lasagna. No, I never ever make lasagna. No, I never ever make lasagna. Just for one. 
I think that's a take. That's gold. What a take. That's beautiful. What do you take. think, Timmy? Good? Jackson, how was it for you? It was fantastic. Even Timmy said it was great. No, no, no. Au contraire. Babs, I will be buying you a glass of wine. What a team. What a team. Good work. Nice, Timmy. Take it back to the top. Uh, make uh, Babs a cup of tea and... Uh, Slip a little something in there for her, make her a bit drowsy. Come to us, You know, don't worry about your sound, what equipment we're using. You know, you, you've got to focus, really, on the tracks that you're playing, the rhythm you're playing. Right. Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay. Come on. Foden. So, Jamal, uh, how's tricks? Well, can we just get on with it? Because I've got some figures here, and I want to discuss them with right. you. Where's Jackson? Hey, my ears are burning. Talk Jamal. of the devil. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Great to see you again. Um, just had to set up Expo 70 in the back, our new band, our new project. What time are we supposed to be starting, anyway? Uh, it was meant to be about an hour ago, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think they're having some business meeting or something. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that means, though. Yeah. yeah. Working out how they can rip us off yeah. a bit more, probably. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen that deal we got in? Terrible. Oh, terrible. Well, what's in it, then? What's well, it? I haven't read it. Oh, uh, I bet it is terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe we should read it. Yeah. I need to speak to both of you, especially you, Jackson. Mm. You know we've had cash flow problems, we've had inland revenue problems, we've had VAT mm. problems. I now hear there's rumour in the yard that this place is going to get taken over and turned into a what? health club. What? You know, spit it out, oh. Jamal. Obviously, you know a bit more than, than you're letting on. Well, yes, who, I know. Who? Uh, who is I, I don't know who it is, but what I do know is that somebody in the yard is trying to take this place over and turn it into a health club. Jamal, you know, don't even go there. Well, look, this is a problem we have to talk about. Mm. In the meantime, we have to also deal with all the things that have happened in the past. For instance, sundries. Mm. What is all that about? Well, exactly what you mean. Well, I know sundries. what he's talking about. He doesn't even need to... To go into well, this. I, 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 at this stage in the game, I want to know what Jamal's talking about. Well, it's just I'll... personal expenses, Denny. I mean, every week you're drawing money out and spending it without any receipts. Personal expenses. Well, personal expenses of what nature? Are they tax deductible? Jamal, we we discussed this. We've always been through this, you know. Every year, every creative accounting year, you know. Now you seem to be giving up on me. I'm not sure that I'm happy with this. Look, Maybe I... we need to start thinking about going to other accountants Jackson. who don't hear bad rumours. With all due respect, bad you're... vibes you're to my beget... studio. Well, you're I've beget... got Expo 70 in the back, just about to record their latest single. It's going to be a fucking hit. I'll see you, you in the charts tomorrow. You are beginning to heavy Jamal. I'm not heavy... You're starting to heavy him. I'm not heavy Jamal. I don't mean to heavy you, Jamal. But I think you're both slightly hassling me. I came in quite calm. I wanted to... Yeah, put down a kind of sprinkly gold dust over that track of Expo 70s. Are you I wanna... finished? Are you finished? OK. You still haven't explained but in, what the subject is about. We really need to have some plan of how we're going to deal with this problem that is hitting you from all angles. Mm. Sundries. Don't want any of that old 60s, like, throwback crap. Like, that's where, that's where they're from, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's, what's the, that's their era, isn't it? You know, so... Look at oh, the state oh. of them. I mean, it's, you know... Do you know I mean, are they in touch? Do they look in touch? Do they look like they're from this well, century? Do they know what we want to sound like? That's of course, of course they don't. That is why I keep saying, coming back to this point, we've got to produce ourselves. Don't let them take over. What must poor Jamal have thought of that? 
fast, Jackson. We are supposedly two professionals in the field of audio and media, right. and instead we came across as two overgrown schoolboys on some fucking Enterprise Alaska. Oh, oh, really? Maybe you came across that way. So yours or mine? It's, it's, it's mine. Yellow. Semtex. Hi. Right, guys, listen and observe. It was in 1972 that Lorimar and Gold achieved their tour de force with the Svengali-like transformation of the South London blues group Pegasus into the international progressive rock monster band. Indeed, their album Persistence of Memory still figures in many critics' all-time top 100. <laughs> Sort of quintessential uh, moog, moog line there. Much imitated since as well. Jackson takes up the story. Before Dark Side, Pegasus were outselling Floyd two to one, and without Pegasus, there would have been no Dark Side. Wow, nice, there, guys. I mean, if you think of all the sounds that we had going there, you know, the big heavy bass sound, which I think some of you were talking about earlier. Huh? Jackson, I must say, I'm rather partial to it. Mr. Yeah, this is, a, the, this is a common uh, misconception. Yeah, because it's just, uh, there, isn't it? The, the bass sound, mm. it's actually, a, it's not a bass guitar. It's, no, well. well. Well, that sound is the Mark I Moog Taurus pedal. Mm. Semi-octave, foot keys. Brings the whole sound. I mean, if you were at a gig in 70, 71, well, and that kind of it. bass sound, yeah, oh, you'd yeah. probably be sick. Yeah. I can look into that, see, um, you know, just and then, yeah. and stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's good for me, you know. As long as, as long as it doesn't sound too old fashioned, we wouldn't mind sounding a bit more modern, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? Like a more modern kind of drum sound. <laughs> <laughs> But modern means machines, you know. Yeah. Exactly. We don't That's a great to... point, Sparky. I mean, what we want to do, I mean, what we were discussing in pre-production, uh, listening to your music, was we both thought there was a kind of raw, raw aggression to it that, that we could harness and couple with our production technique. So using some of the old school technology, if you like, updated with MIDI, combining it with, with your sort of raw energy, Pablo, you know, your drumming. Still be modern. Still right, really old. Right. I like that, yeah. I'll go with that, yeah. All right. Well, I think uh, Sparky's got the whole idea of it, even if the rest of you haven't. But um, can't yeah, wait yeah. to get in the studio and really get to work with these guys, you know? Nice! Timmy, get the kettle on! This is the vintage console. And hip hop and trip hop. Hi guys. Yes. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong with that? I'm getting down with Semtex. Boom. Hey. Boom. How you doing? Boom. Got the album. Got the clothes. Been there, seen it, done it. Uh, well, any about, about the desk guys as well? Yeah, sorry. Right, right, someone, you know, I have yeah. such a respect for Semtex. Along, and, uh, yeah. You're Tommy. I know that. Right, mate. Seeing you around. Uh, I'm Mark, I'm his manager, mate. Mark, all right, pleased to meet you. Yeah, pleased to meet you, mate. Thanks for coming down the studio. Is there yeah, anything yeah. showing you the... Uh... I was attempting to, yes, Jack. Well, well, I was just going uh, through the desk and all the parameters of... Nice. Yeah. Check out this production, guys. Where's all the... Crystal all clear. The sound cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, where's that loop from? Oh, it's kind of like a funky drama thing. Yeah. Check yeah. it out. Liberate yourself. <laughs> 
Jackson, oh. I said, let's play something that's fucking representative of the sounds we can achieve at the studio with real drums, real musicians, real singers. It's a big ballad number. You'll have to excuse my guide vocal, but then you'll really hear the potential of this studio. This is more the kind so of... So what's like... this? Is this another trip-hop number? This is uh, mine and Devin's piece. Oh, this is a song. It's a love it? song that could follow up, be the follow up to the ballad of Tom Jones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a serious tune, guys. Oh, yeah. I used to learn to read it now. That would be you singing, Tom. I used to like to dance. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we never really quite saw. Eye to eye. No, no. But maybe we could give this just one more try. Yeah. Hey, do you still make lasagna? No, I never ever make lasagna. No, no I, I never ever, ever make lasagna. lasagna just for one. Tom's got to go to the toilet. We can yeah. play, play it to him when he gets back. So All right. Put, yeah. put two quid in the meter. Sorry, sorry, mate. Let's go. Yeah. No, no, you're not. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, guys, you know, I mean, now you... Yeah. Uh, All right. Um, I think the best thing is that if we, yeah, chill and then meet up and maybe I mean, go to the pub and we'll yeah, have a little cool. chat. Yeah, we should discuss uh, it with we'll you. All right, guys. Well, listen. We'll shake the room. It's good to meet you, Mark. <laughs> See you in the chart. See you later. Yeah, we'll come in the chart. Uh, uh, um, Semtex, I'll show you the uh, live room if you want, actually. Yeah. See how we get that kind of live sound? Find the uh, sweet spot of the, the live room. Well, I think that went very, very well. It did. Uh, they, I'll be frank with you, I'll be brutally honest. Well, they hated a trip not? hop. They loved lasagna. <laughs> Come on. They hated a trip hop. <laughs> I think Semtex they was loved banging. lasagna. Was that, Semtex listen. liked the fucking trip hop. The band hated the trip hop. They loved lasagna. Listen, man. I rest Sem my case. You don't know anything about Semtex. When he comes down, when they book their three months... Three they months. hated the trip hop. They loved lasagna. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> One up to Danny. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Liberate <laughs> yourself. Me and DJ Semtex. <laughs> what? Hated the fucking trip hop. Just fucking relax, will ya? I mean, I can see me and Semtex doing a live little thing at Metalheads, you know? Jackson Gold, DJ Semtex, the whole fucking thing, him in his neon suit. Me and this kind of like Masonic hip hop thing that is brand new. No one else has done this kind of shit before. I'm down with it, I'm down with it, I'm down with it, I'm sure. I can see it happening. Well, it's film drama Hong Kong style next tonight on S4C. The killer is in a few minutes.